Okay, let's actually go through and work some problems here. Um, what we're going to do in this problem is convert 7 meters to centimeters. Remember in the last video we talked about the prefixes and what they represented, so hopefully you took some time and wrote those out and have them sitting beside you as we're working through these problems and then you're working through your homework. Okay, the easiest thing to do here is to remember that mnemonic device that kids have dropped, that's our DECA, over, that's our original units, dead, converting metrics. If we write that out in that proper order, then it really becomes a matter of just moving the decimal around. So if we start off with 7 meters, meters is our original unit, and we're going to convert that over to centimeters. So in order to do that, we would have to move the decimal two places to the right. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take our decimal and move it two places to the right. Now, because we don't have anything in these positions, we're going to have to fill in zeros. So that would become 700 centimeters. That is how we convert within the metric system. Let's try another one. Here we have 40 millimeters. We're going to convert that over to meters. So we're starting off with 40. Our decimal would be right here. And if I want to go from millimeters to original units, I would have to start here at milli and go one, two, three places to the left. So I would have to do the same thing with my number. One, two, three places to the left. And because we don't have a number here, we're going to fill it in with a zero. So that would be point zero four zero. Now zeros that occur after um, a number in a decimal, we don't really have to worry about those. So pr really the proper way to write this would be point zero four meters. Okay, let's try another one. And again, uh, let me go through and let me write out our um, mnemonic device again. That was kids have dropped over dead converting metrics. So we're starting off with 9.4 kilometers. So kilo is here, and if I want to move to meters, I'd have to move one, two, three places to the right to get to the original units. So doing the same thing here, one, two, three places to the right would make that 9,400 meters. And again, let's convert 400 millimeters to centimeters. So milli would be here. In order to get to centi, we have to move one place to the left. So we're going to do the same thing with our number. Move one place to the left, which would be 40 centimeters. Now we can even do this with word problems. Here we have one. Let me scoot down here a little bit more and I'll rewrite my um, mnemonic device. Kids have dropped over dead converting metrics. The median height for 20 to 29 year old males in the United States is about 177 centimeters. Convert this height to meters and to millimeters. So we want to take 177 centimeters and change that over to meters first. Well, if our number is 177 and we're sitting at centimeters and we want to go to meters, we'd have to move one, two places to the left. So one, two places to the left would be 1.77 meters. If we want to take that 177 centimeters and convert it over to millimeters, the 177, we start here at centimeters and move one place to the right for milli. So sitting here, we would move one place to the right, which would be 1,770 millimeters.